What's up everyone? I'm in Park Slope, Brooklyn, and we're gonna be searching for some Halloween decorations today, but I can't do it alone. I'm joined here by a New Yorker. Hey everybody, my name is Hannah. I'm a Brooklyn-based YouTuber as well. This is my second time here on Action Kids channel, and I'm excited to see some Halloween stuff. Yeah, Park Slope is pretty known for Halloween decorations, although a lot of people consider Diker Heights to be the best for Halloween. Park Slope has got some hidden gems. So right now we're on Fifth Avenue and Union Street. The date is October 25th, 2022. It's 5.15 p.m. and it's 67 Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. So let's go down Union Street and check out some decorations. The best decorations are probably on the blocks with brownstones, and this is one of the main streets here, right, Hannah? Yep. But it's got some pretty leaves. Hmm. Yeah, at least we've, if we don't find decorations, we've got leaves. <laughs> Nature's decoration. Oh, and we're in luck. What do we got here? Ooh, I like the tiny little pumpkins they have. They're cute. And then we have a super cobweb here. It <laughs> takes up the whole railing. I think those cobwebs look so cool, but I saw a warning the other day online that birds and bugs and things get caught in them and oh. it can be dangerous for them, so. Wow. PSA. That's interesting. Yeah, because uh, birds will probably think it's like nesting material and try to pluck it or something, right? Aww. I see them sometimes. They get like twigs on the ground and. Hmm. Not to put a damper on the vibe or anything. I know. <laughs> but I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. Maybe better to get a skeleton then than cobwebs. Yeah. This is such a nice block. Oh, I see some. Ooh. And talk about skeletons, right? <laughs> there you go. This one I call the pirate skeleton. The pirate, oh, he's got an eye patch. Yeah, he's got an eye patch. That's how you do a web. Yeah, that's a nice web. <laughs> it's hanging from the third floor. Got corn stalks. Should take some pictures too while I'm here. Yeah, you need a thumbnail? <laughs> well, just for my Instagram collection too. I like to put up neighborhood pictures. Maybe after this walk is done, we'll uh, decide which Halloween decorations were the best. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Love a contest. So far, the skeleton one is pretty hard to beat. Yeah. Although I've heard there is a giant pumpkin somewhere in Park Slope. Ooh. I'm excited. I want to see it. Let's see <laughs> if we could find it. Oh, wow. Is that a cat skeleton? I think it is. No, wait, that's too mean to be a cat skeleton. That's like a, a prehistoric, like, predator cat skeleton. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see it. It looks mean. And there's a pumpkin with a skull in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a severed hand. Uh-oh. Oh, I like the 
uh, skeleton hanging from the air conditioner. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, right here. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. I wonder if these leaves got caught in the web like this or if they put them here for decoration. Hmm. Hmm. Either way, it looks nice. This is a good neighborhood to go trick-or-treating in. Oh yeah, I love seeing little kids walking around on Halloween. Mm -hmm. When I used to live in Brooklyn Heights, it was like the first time I've lived anywhere where kids really trick-or-treat. I'm from the middle of nowhere, and then I lived in apartments in college towns. So I was so excited, and I went out and handed out candy and ran out in like 20 <laughs> minutes. It was amazing. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> So if any of you are familiar with Park Slope, uh, you know that 5th Avenue and 7th Avenues are the main commercial streets through the neighborhood, whereas 6th Avenue and 8th Avenue are more residential. I think we'll have the best luck finding decorations on uh, 8th Avenue, 6th Avenue, and also the side streets. Oh, Cute. what is that? It's a ghost pumpkin. <laughs> I didn't know they existed. This is what happens when they, the pumpkins die. <laughs> Which happens every year because they rot and <laughs> fade away. It's always so sad on like November 4th or whatever when you walk around and see all the rotted pumpkins, oh, rotten pumpkins. No. Yeah. <laughs> I also know there's like different types of pumpkins too, like the ones they use for decorations here, like aren't good for eating, they heard. Oh really? Yeah. Like they're more firm and the, the skin is like way too tough. Oh. Do you like to eat the seeds when you carve them? Bake the seeds up with some olive oil and eat them? Oh, they're good, pumpkin oh, yeah. seeds. Oh yeah. Yep. You get a lot of health benefits eating seeds. Yeah. They're filling too. They mm -hmm. make a great snack. Thing about it, it's like a little tiny thing. It provides everything needed for the uh, plant to grow. Yeah. So you have, that's what you're eating. Yeah. I love the leaves here. Mm-hmm. Are your favorite decorations the really spooky ones or the cuter ones? I like the cuter ones. I do too. <laughs> yeah. I find like if they're too spooky, it'll turn the kids away. Aww. What'd you guys do? What's that? Here's the Park Slope food co op. I heard from uh, John, my friend John, that what people do here is actually volunteer at this food co-op and in return they'll get like some groceries oh yeah so that's how it works oh that's a really nice idea mm -hmm. it's a very uh, good community organization oh happy halloween at brooklyn meditation there the whole entrance is decorated There's also like a really nice home yeah, in so Greenwood nice. Heights. Yeah, exactly. mm -hmm. That's a little bit far from here. Oh, the one that goes like really hard on their decorations? Yeah. I've seen pictures of that one. I've never seen it in person though. Mm -hmm. When I explored around the city last year, 
my favorite home was uh, in Whitestone. Actually, it was it was Bayside. They had a really like extravagant Halloween display. Oh wow! Yep. It's like the entire front lawn. They had animatronics and like spooky clowns. Love that. I saw one like that in Diker Heights last year. I wish mm -hmm. I could remember exactly where. I think it was 84th Street or something. It was on a corner, and they had like a TV mounted on top of the house with dancing oh, skeletons yeah. and these huge displays set up almost like a stage with smoke machines and dancing skeletons and animals and things. Yeah, I remember that one too. Here's another nice brownstone block. Oh, there's a Halloween decoration. Yeah. Maybe we're on the wrong side. I don't know. I'm sure there'll be something over here too. Yeah. Even without it, this is what I think of when I think of fall. Yeah, me too. The wet ground, pretty changing leaves, the old buildings, it's perfect. Like this block here, for me, it really defines what Brooklyn is. Yeah. Or at least like 50% of what Brooklyn is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a big pumpkin. Ooh. And some of them are carved too. Cute. Oh, look at this. All these tiny little pumpkins. They're all like exactly the same size. I know. Size. They're all the same size pumpkin. <laughs> there are. There are 20 of them. Oh, wow. We do it every year. It's oh, so no, beautiful. Two big ones up on oh, top okay. Of them. They're hidden yeah. behind, the, uh, behind the plants. It's been oh. so warm mm -hmm. that, uh, that the plants have just stayed, you know. Uh -huh. Usually by the end of October, they're, they're like dead, but oh. it's like summer still. Yeah. It looks Look, beautiful. The little kids love it. Mm -hmm. They come and they count them. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to count too. <laughs> oh, we got an impromptu interview with the owner. Yeah. And the ambulance can't get through now. Let's see if cute pumpkins will uh, outbeat the giant pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm ready for this giant pumpkin. Yeah, where is this giant pumpkin? I heard it's somewhere around here, around 8th Avenue. We're coming up on it like soon. Oh Several look, wow. There's like a skeleton, a bunch of skeletons across the street. There's like a ghost witch. Have you seen a lot of decorations where you are in Brooklyn? I'm not really right where I am. I'm in the middle of the businessy part of downtown. Mm -hmm. So there's not a whole lot there. So I have to come to neighborhoods like this to get my fill for decorations. Whoa. Wow. Why does that skeleton have a baseball cap on? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he used to play. Yeah. He struck out. <laughs> I've heard rumors of this giant pumpkin. Union Street and 8th Avenue. <laughs> and maybe we can go down 8th Avenue for a bit, see what else is around. Yeah. Wait, do I see it? Oh. Is it over there? I think that's it. <gasps> wow. Let's see this thing. 
Yep, that's it. That's amazing. That is incredible. How do they even carry it? <laughs> they need a supreme granny cart. You need one of the uh, New York City like cranes to carry it. Yeah. Or maybe it's hollow inside, so it's easier to carry. <laughs> they probably it's... just got the subway rats to bring over. <laughs> it's secretly inflatable. You just can't see it. Oh my goodness. It's taller than this me. This is insane. Oh no, it's on a stack. It's not actually taller than me. Wow. Wow. You should stand in front of it just to get a size comparison. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll take a picture for you too. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this might be the thumbnail. Love it. <laughs> Do you want a picture with it? I can take your yeah, picture sure. with it. Yeah, sure. You can hold this even. Hold this, yeah. So people could see me. I'll just take the picture from the, the phone there. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. What a huge pumpkin. And then they got some more up there. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And then this one too. That's not small. I know, that's it not small either. It just looks small in comparison to that, but. This one must weigh at least like, I don't know, <laughs> 100 pounds maybe? Yeah. Wow. There, you wanna get out? That's like one of the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder where they get it. Yeah, how would they even get it here? Because they get one every year, right? So mm -hmm. where do they source their giant pumpkin? <laughs> Maybe they grew it in their backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than a Brooklyn backyard. <laughs> it was secretly bred in inside. <laughs> Greenhouse. <laughs> Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's got a pinwheel. All right, so far the giant pumpkin wins. Oh yeah, no question. I just don't think it's gonna be beaten. <laughs> I mean, keep watching, but. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> There's some cobwebs on this home. Oh, they have colorful cobwebs. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some more down this block. Okay. Let's cross the street. Oh. I see some uh, yep. cobwebs over there. We're walking up a hill here. That's why it's called Park Slope. <laughs> Maybe we could walk over to uh, Prospect Park there. Because there's some really nice homes like on the side of Prospect Park. Oh yeah. They might have them decorated too. Got some bats in the windows and a carved pumpkin head. Have you carved a pumpkin yet this year? No, I haven't. No? I tried it once in school, but like, I think my eyes were a little bit messed up and the mouth I got pretty well. <laughs> Wait, you've only ever carved one pumpkin ever? 
Probably. <gasps> yeah. You need to carve some more pumpkins. It's fine. I have to try. <laughs> you ruin all, a lot of pumpkins before you can get like good. <laughs> it's not about being good. <laughs> It's like, if the mouth is bad, just make the mouth bigger, right? Exactly. Have you been to like some of those pumpkin carving shows? No. Or have, or have seen them? Like, they're insane what they could do with pumpkins. Like they can carve a tiger face in it in like a, a few seconds. That's amazing. Yeah. Or like one of those like scaredy cats. I always do a cat on mine, but oh, that's good. I don't think it would win a contest though. <laughs> I did see an ice carving show around oh, yeah. Christmas last year. That's similar. Oh, wow, there's a cat company. There we go. Yep. My those, people. Those are definitely hand carved. Well, these are even tinier pumpkins. Wow. They look like oranges. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. These are like the tiniest pumpkins I've seen. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have the huge pumpkin and then the tiny ones. These, I can understand how they carried it here and put them down. But yes. That huge one <laughs> completely baffles my mind. And Look at this home. Wow. How did they even get it over to the, as high up on the tree as it is? Oh my gosh. They had to have used a ladder. Yeah. But it's like above the steps too. How did they get a... I'm oh, <laughs> having yeah. trouble seeing how they didn't tip the ladder over. Wow, this is incredible. All right, this is creepy, this rabbit head. <laughs> Some more pumpkin carvings. I think this wins best cobwebs. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. So they have the best cobwebs, the other house has the best pumpkin. And this one has the best cute pumpkins. Yeah. Now let's see what they did on Prospect Park West. It's where Park Slope got its name from because it's next to Prospect Park and all these streets are on a slope. So Union Street was a big hit. Maybe we could walk like two blocks down this way and make a right. Yeah. We'll see what else is around here. You know where there's a lot of decorations too is uh, Carroll Gardens. Yeah. yeah. I teach a music student down there every Thursday and I've seen some good ones mm. down there on the side streets. There's some mansions here, but I don't really see too many decorations yet. Oh, down that way. Yeah. We got to go down here. Yep, we're uh, not going to go on Prospect Park West. No decorations here. All right, best spiders goes to this home. Skeleton spiders. Mm. Those think, are some intricate pumpkins. I know. It must have taken a long time to carve these pumpkins.
You know where the best pumpkin carvings are, are at the uh, Jack-O-Lantern Blaze. Have you ever been there or seen it? Where is that? That's um, in the Hudson Valley. Oh, no, I've never been there. Near Croton on Hudson and also in Long Island now. They have another uh, show there. But basically, they like get these thousands and thousands of pumpkins, carve them, and light them up. And it's like a big attraction every year. That's really cool. Yeah. And they put like music to it and theme it. It's really something else to see. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we got to rename this skeleton slope. <laughs> I like how it's like three buildings in a row that decorated. They're competing with each other. Yeah. Across the street too. Tiny pumpkins. Oh, and some more. What? <laughs> they actually Wait, those use are oranges. oranges. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen oranges in Halloween decorations. I guess you don't notice at first glance, yeah. right? I know. <laughs> I like how they carve them too. It's just, it's just a permanent mark. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> I have to take a picture of this. Easy Halloween decorations. Just buy some oranges and put some permanent marker on it. Is that a Hedwig plushie from oh, Harry Potter? Yeah, it is. Oh, I didn't even notice the spiders on the top. Fun. The oranges are so funny. <laughs> I remember that first house we saw the small pumpkins. I was like, they look like oranges. Yeah. And it, <laughs> it actually could work for decorations. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice over there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Their lantern adds a lot. Mm hmm. And we got some ugly pumpkins over there. <laughs> Hello. Oh. We like your pumpkins. <laughs> he startled me. I think I hit I my microphone with my hand. <laughs> he startled me too. Hey, it's Halloween. We should expect to get scared. <laughs> oh. Tiny fake pumpkins. Yeah, they're probably lit. There's a lot more here. I wish they were on. Mm hmm. Yeah, this block is great for decorating. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's always like that. A block is either totally decorated or there's nothing. Mm -hmm. And I think it's like one starts and then they start competing with each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I went to Diker Heights last year, it was like only those two houses that really, really decorated and a lot of the neighborhood, they didn't even decorate. Yeah, I, yeah. I had the same problem because I'd never been down there before last year. And I walked around for a while, like, where are all the decorations? They're all very condensed into a couple mm -hmm. blocks. Yeah. There's a neighborhood where you can just wander around and see decorations. I like this house. That's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. What is that? A scary ghost by the entrance? Yeah. Let's go and get a closer look. Yeah, that's pretty spooky. 
<laughs> oh, there's a big tarantula inside on the stairway. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> wow. That'll spook you out. <laughs> Caroline. This was a good carving right here. Very detailed. Let's go down 8th Avenue. Pretty sure we're gonna see some decorations here. Yeah. I like the stickers. I think stickers are underrated. Yeah, they're easy too. They're easy and you don't need to carve anything. And <laughs> it has a lot of ambiance. Are you dressing up for Halloween this year? I might be. I still haven't decided my costume yet, though. You're going to run out of time. Yeah. Well, Party City is always open, right? Yeah. When in doubt, there's always a big oh, banana. There's so more. A <laughs> big banana. Always. I dressed up as Harry Potter one time for Halloween. That was pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah. I can see it. Mm -hmm. I was Hermione when I was six or so. Okay. And I had the same like big bushy hair mm -hmm. then that oh, she that had works. in the first movie. Yeah, because my <laughs> hair is curly. My mom's hair is not curly, so she didn't know you don't brush curly hair. So she'd brush my hair out. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was very Hermione vibes. <laughs> see anything down here. I don't see much down that way. Yeah. Maybe we'll have some luck with the next block. You can always kind of get a hint by peeking over your head and seeing, oh, there's some cobwebs there. Yeah, it's always the cobwebs. <laughs> There's some stickers over there. Oh, those are cool ones. Mm -hmm. Let's see if First Street has any. Look on the corner here, there's some skeletons <laughs> on the windowsill. Those are fun. <laughs> oh, look over down down there that by that block. Oh, that was good. Yeah, we should go there. Yeah. 
these streets right by Prospect Park, like the side streets, mm -hmm. I feel like they've been really good. Yeah. I'm a little bit underwhelmed at 8th Ave, but these side streets from 8th Ave to Prospect Park have been outstanding. Yeah, I think the oh, side look. streets are the way to do it. Oh, <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> you see the hand up there? Oh, yeah. I didn't know uh, you can grow that from a planter. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> I got to check what kind of seeds I have now. Yeah. I, ho I hope I don't have a monster hand seed. You might. If you don't know how to identify it, well. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. They have a mm -hmm. cute little spider there. Cobwebs in the balcony. Little ghosts. <laughs> All right, look at this one. Oh my goodness. I love the lights. It's the lighting that gives it the vibe. Yeah. The skeleton and the tarantulas. This has to be the best well, best dressed skeleton here. Oh yeah. I feel like the lights pack a big punch like the stickers do. Mm -hmm. Easy and really effective. Yeah. I feel like Halloween, it brings out a lot of people's creativity. Yeah. More than any other holiday. If you think about it, there's a lot involved. Costumes, like props, mm -hmm. how you're gonna like string things up or. What is that? Is it? I don't know, it almost looks like a bride, like a dead bride. Kind of looks like a bride that's reincarnated as a horse. A horse? <laughs> yeah, I kind of see a horse face in there. I don't know if I'm seeing the horse face. No. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> the dead will rise. Yikes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love all these lanterns. I, I know, know they're not decoration, they're always here, but they add. The lanterns are cool. Hello. Hi. Oh, you're putting up your decorations? They're beautiful. Wow. Yeah. We're looking for some. <laughs> Trick or treat. Hopefully people don't get tricked here. <laughs> that over there looks amazing. The one that's all lit up in yellow. I think we have some success over there. Yeah. For sure. Some cobwebs and some things in the window. Those are cute. Yeah. Yeah, these lanterns are amazing. Oh yes, that's that home over there across the street. The spot. Yep, we have to go. All right. What are your impressions of this? I love it. I love string lights. They're so pretty. I like the animal skeletons. I think they're fun. Oh, they're fun. I like the skull on the window too. Yeah, this is a good one overall. Yeah. Zombie <laughs> hunters only. <laughs> Definitely a top contender. Oh, look at this, the skeleton with the chains. No pumpkins though. Mm. 
gotten points docked for that, but <laughs> otherwise, love this. You don't want to look behind you over your head. Behind me? Oh! <laughs> you better not park here between 9 and 10.30 on Monday. Nope. <laughs> This is the spookiest parking sign I've ever seen. Yes. This is cute. Aw. They're smiling. Yeah. See the bats too? Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. They blend in, they but there are a ton the of them. Here. Yeah, bats can sometimes be hard to see. I, I think, think they bats mostly, are really cute. <laughs> yeah, I think they mostly eat fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Fruit and insects. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could walk over to Prospect Park again and go down the side street back to uh, maybe 5th Ave or 7th Ave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patty tree. <laughs> They're probably wondering why uh, the trees have been spooked by ghosts and pumpkins and skeletons. <laughs> That's Halloween themed without even doing yeah, anything. This is totally Halloween. It's very Hogwarts. It's a landmark. I saw the plaque on the, uh, the building. Oh, oh it's a school. Yeah, this is a school. No way, maybe both of them are this way. Yeah, I think so. Park Slope Historic District. Mm -hmm. I think the other side of the street is better. It's starting to get humid now too. Yeah, all that rain yesterday. Saw some pumpkins on the street. Oh yeah. Oh, here we are. Some of the extravagant homes they'll uh, hire companies just to put up Halloween decorations. <laughs> that is so wild to me. Yeah. More hands growing out of a planter. Wow. That guy's really dead. I think so. Yeah. Dismantle for sure. <laughs> Colorful pumpkin. Fun. 
put some star stickers and circles on your pumpkin. Got those stickers. <laughs> yeah, if you can't carve a pumpkin, just put a sticker on the pumpkin. <laughs> Black hat, boom, done. <laughs> You're all about avoiding carving these pumpkins. <laughs> Honestly, painting pumpkins is probably more fun than carving them. Yeah, that's fun. Painting them. Well, then the paint fades, though, when the pumpkins rot. At least carving them, I think the pumpkins last longer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah. I remember those, like, little eyes that you just glue on the things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, once again, the side streets right near Prospect Park have the best decorations. Yes, that's where you need to come. Wow, look at these skulls. Those look very fancy. I know. Half of them are lit and half are not. At least since it's dark now, we get to see more of these decorations lit up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're in that sweet spot where you can see the light up ones, but you can still see the ones that don't light up. Yeah. This is the scariest decoration here, <laughs> pink flamingos. Do you see a lot of those in Miami? Nope. <laughs> Are they not in Miami? Did I make that up? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's like a dollhouse in the pumpkin. Wow. Whoa. Is that a little pumpkin in the pumpkin? Yeah. And there's a cat there. Look at this one. Oh. They already ate part of a pumpkin and they stuffed like the, the seeds and the flesh in the mouth. I don't know about that. That's creative. <laughs> Should get some pictures for... Uh, Really cute. Maybe we could walk over to 7th Ave and uh, wrap this video up. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, 8th Avenue is not the place to see decorations, yeah. at least not the streets that we walked. The only thing was that giant pumpkin. Yeah. That was just right on the street around the corner. Mm-hmm. Walking downhill now. Much better. <laughs> this block has a lot of thick trees. And what happened to this home here? Uh oh. You think this point place is haunted? Probably. More likely than not. Is this a fig tree? I have no idea. Looks like one. Got some decorations here. Well, this is creative. Yeah. They put it right on top of the containers. <laughs> they had to get pumpkins of just the right size for mm -hmm. that. You need to make sure it doesn't 
fall right into the opening. <laughs> That can be hard to do sometimes. You have to measure it and... <laughs> Commitment. The skeleton hanging out there on the staircase. <laughs> Ooh. That's creative. Wow. Definitely a wide variety of pumpkins. Big ones, small ones, ugly ones. I like the white one with the ghost the thing. Ghost, Is it yeah. a ghost? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty cool. What's going on across the street there? Mm. Yeah, we have to check this out. Yeah, this is a pretty scary house. Oh yeah. Especially when they have a drape here with words on it. I think that's from um, Stranger Things, the TV show. Oh. I've never seen it, but I have seen that before, and I think it's from that. Wow. Definitely a lot more concentrated decorations on this side of Park Slope. Mm-hmm. What's this? What? You're missing. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can just walk right by it. it. Looks like a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are so cute. Yeah. Sometimes it's the small things. <laughs> Those are even smaller than the tiny pumpkins. Mm-hmm. Here's Seventh Avenue. I think there's a good place to wrap up the video. Hope you got a uh, good sense of what's here in Park Slope for Halloween. I know I did. But favorite decorations by far, giant pumpkin. Yeah, giant pumpkin. You can't beat it. <laughs> I agree. Anyway. Thanks for joining us today. Check out Hannah Lee's channel. She's awesome for YouTube. Uh, hit the like button and come to Park Slope if you're around. You might get some good scares and trick-or-treat candies. Yeah. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.